Welcome to a very special edition of From Trial to Triumph. I'll be completely honest with you, this taping is impromptu. I wasn't planning on taping on Friday, October 2nd for a Wednesday installment, but I received something in the mail a couple hours ago and I wanna actually open it and share it with you. I'm very excited, I'm very touched. And it fits in perfectly with this week's theme, which is recognition. Not only are we saying goodbye to our R words, right? We had four of them. We're also saying goodbye to Top Gun as that background motif. And I wanted to end with what I think is the best scene from the film. It's actually right here. And I mentioned a couple of installments ago that I think that uh, Mike Metcalf, portrayed by Tom Skerritt, aka Viper in the film, I think it's the best character that I've ever seen on the big screen really touched me. First time I saw the film, I was very, very young. I was blown away. I actually think that he's everything a father figure should be, right? He's diligent, okay? He holds Maverick accountable. He's also compassionate, you know, that tripartite approach. And I think it really empowers Tom Cruise in the film, again, aka Maverick, Pete Mitchell, to succeed as an individual. He got that recognition that he so sought after. And it's almost got a little boy named Sue in it, right? You know, I love that song. So anyways, let me share with you the background of this package and then I'm actually gonna open it up here on screen. So <clears throat> a couple of weeks ago, I had the privilege of having dinner with some dear friends of mine. It's one of those great examples of Boy, I, went, I was friends with the husband and the wife. I went to school with both of them. So it's like two friends for the price of one, if you will. But anyways, they've got um, some daughters, absolutely wonderful daughters. And one daughter in particular is an accomplished painter. She is, wait for it, 11 years old. <laughs> and they had one of her paintings on their mantle, their fireplace. And I was just utterly blown away by the painting. And <clears throat> I told my buddy, uh, the, the husband, and, and actually the wife, both of them, I said, boy, she is just beyond skilled. And she got word of this. She actually had gone to bed before I left. And my friend, the, the husband, wrote me this text. And he said, I'm, I'm not gonna say her name, but let's call her April, all right? April heard you liked her painting on our fireplace. So she specifically said, I'm going to do a painting for Rick today. Unbelievable. So for three hours this evening, my friend continues, she painted this one just for you. She needs to sign it when it's dry. I'll send it to you in the mail. And he showed me a little picture of April, again, fictitious name, holding this painting. And I'm like, blown away. <laughs> it's Bob Ross squared, right? Okay, so here we go. It says September 29th. It was mailed. Got the old Emerson Commander, right? Okay. There we go. Boy, it cuts through this just like butter, right? Okay, this is provenance in the making, right? What do I mean by that? Well, I'm going on record and I'm gonna say, uh, wherever my office is, this painting will be on a wall, all right? There you go. Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. Oh, okay, there's some bubble wrap here, so give me a second. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Best things in life are free. Let me show you this. Wow. Unbelievable. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. So I want to take a moment and officially recognize and thank the young lady who created this masterpiece.